guys! Good day! This is Fez Soralta Cebuguero, a teacher of Malay Balay City Central School, Malay Balay City. Or just call me Fez Sensei. Today, I'm going to discuss about the visibility rule. Hold on and watch for the PowerPoint presentation. The visibility rule for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. What does divisible by mean? Divisible by means if you divide one number by another, the result is a whole number without a remainder. Example, 12 divided by 6 equals 2. No remainder. Therefore, 12 is divisible by 6. Another example, 15 divided by 5 equals 3. No remainder. Therefore, 15 is divisible by 3. Okay, let's discuss the divisibility rules. Divisibility rule 2. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even or it ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Example, 78. It ends with 8. Therefore, 78 is divisible by 2. Another example, 3,470. It ends with 0. Therefore, the number is divisible by 2. Now you try. Which number is not divisible by 2? Therefore, which number does not end with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8? First example, 572. It ends with 2. Second example, 1,464. It ends with 4. Last example, 249. It ends with 9. Which number is not divisible by 2? Very good. Divisibility rule 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3 or if the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3. Example, 75. 7 plus 5 equals 12. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. There's no remainder. Therefore, 12 is divisible by 3. Another example, 369. 3 plus 6 plus 9 equals 18. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. No remainder. Therefore, 369 is divisible by 3. Did you understand? Let's try. Which number is not divisible by 3? Or, which number is not, the sum is not a multiple of 3? First example, 4,571. 4 plus 5 equals 9. Plus 7 equals 16. Plus 1 equals 17. Is 17 divisible by 3? Or is 17 a multiple of 3? Another example. 1,464. 1 plus 4 equals 5. Plus 6 equals 11 plus 4 equals 15. Is 15 divisible by 3? Is 15 a multiple of 3? Another example, 279. 2 plus 7 equals 9 plus 9 equals 18. Is 18 divisible by 3? Or is 18 a multiple of 3? And the answer is the visibility rule 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits 
are divisible by 4. Last two digits. Example, 1320. The last two digit, digits is 2 and 0 or 20. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. There's no remainder. Therefore, 1320 is divisible by 4. Another example, 672. 72 divided by 4 equals 18. There's no remainder. Therefore, 672 is divisible by 4. Let's try. First number, 564. The last two digits is 64. Is 64 divisible by 4? Or is 64 a multiple of 4? Another example, 4101. The last two digits are 0 and 1. Is it a multiple of 4? Or divisible by 4? The last example, 188. The last two digits are 88. Is 88 divisible by 4? Or is 88 a multiple of 4? And the answer is... Very good. Last divisibility rule 5. A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is a 0 or 5, or it ends with 0 or 5. Examples, 615, it ends in a 5. Therefore, 615 is divisible by 5. Another example, 1480. It ends in a zero. Therefore, 1480 is divisible by five. Let's try. Which number is not divisible by five? Therefore, the number does not end with zero or five. And the answer is... Okay, divisibility rule 6. A number is divisible by 6 when it is divisible by 2 and 3. Example, 48. 408. 408 ends in an even number. It ends with 8. That's rule 2. Then let's get the sum. What is the sum of 408? 4 plus 0 equals 4 plus 8 equals 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? Yes. 12 divided by 3 is 4. That is rule 3. Therefore, 408 is div divisible by 6 because it is divisible by 2 and 3. Now let's try. Which number is not divisible by 6? Therefore, it is not divisible by 2 and 3. First example, 8,700. It ends with 0. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. Then, let's get the sum. 8 plus 7 equals 15. Plus 0 plus 0 equals 15. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Therefore, 8,700 is divisible by 2 and 3 and divisible by 6. Next example, 523. It ends with 3. Therefore, it is not divisible by 2. And because it is not divisible by 2, therefore, it is not divisible by 6. 
last example, 7,602. It ends with 2. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. Let's get the sum. 7 plus 6 equals 13. Plus 0 equals 13. Plus 2 equals 15. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Therefore, 7,602 is divisible by 2 and divisible by 3. And therefore, it is divisible by 6. So, our answer is 523. Divisibility rule 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Example, 49,635. 4 plus 9 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5 equals 27. 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Or, 27 is also a multiple of 9. Therefore, this number, 49,635, is divisible by 9. Another example, 5,445. 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 equals 18. 18 divided by 9 equals 2. Therefore, 5,445 is divisible by 9. Let's try. Find the number that is not divisible by 9. Therefore, the sum is not divisible by 9. Or the sum is not a multiple of 9. Let's try to examine example number 1. First example, 9,873. 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 plus 7 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. Is 27 divisible by 9? Or is 27 a multiple of 9? Yes. So, 9,873 is divisible by 9. Second example, 6,363. 6 plus 3 equals 9, plus 6 equals 15, plus 3 equals 18. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Therefore, 6,363 is divisible by 9. Last example, 5 plus 5 equals 10, plus 4 equals 14, plus 1 equals 15. Is 15 divisible by 9? Is 15 a multiple of 9? No, it's not. Therefore, 5,541 is not divisible by 9. Divisibility rule 10. A number is divisible by 10 if it is ends in a 0. Example, 7,630. It ends in a 0. Therefore, 7,630 is divisible by 10. Another example, 410. It ends with 0. Therefore, 410 is divisible by 10. Let's try. Find the number that is not divisible by 10 or the number does, that does not end with 0. Here it goes. Thank you. Did you understand? Now, did you understand? I hope so. That's all for today. Bye-bye. See you next time.